Hello YouTubers, this is CJ Hot Wheels. Well, I have some new cars to show you. Uh, my dad took a trip to my Walmart earlier today and much to both his and my surprise, we have brand new matchboxes hitting Walmarts. That's right, the 2017 Matchbox A case is hitting Walmarts. So if you haven't already, go check your Walmarts. Because this batch, surprisingly, has some really nice cars. It's a good start for the new year for Matchbox, since Hot Wheels is already in their third or fourth batch right now. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what we got. So first off, we got the Mr. Bean themed Mini Cooper. Because if you don't recall, the old TV show featuring Mr. Bean back in the, I think, the 80s and the 90s, and then he had two movies. This was his car, a 1964 Austin Mini Cooper in, well, really, it was yellow. This one's more of a green, like a lime green, but it has a blacked out hood, just like Mr. Bean had, and it was really cute. I like this car. It's just one of those cars that... When you see it on the road, or if you see pictures of it, you just can't help. Oh, that's so cute. I like Mini Coopers. Especially the originals. The new ones are just boring. They're just like every other modern car, you know. They have they have all these all these techie gadgets and I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as nostalgic. Alright, so next up we got the really nice 55 Ford F100 panel delivery. Glad, glad to see this casting back because it's been about five years. The last variation we saw of this truck was back in 2011. It was in this really tacky satin green and it had this wolf graphic on it. It didn't look very good. It didn't very. It didn't end on a high note. But now we have it back in a satin baby blue with a generic city store graphic. It's for a uh, deliver. It seems like a yeah, it's some kind of generic store, you know. Because they can't use any real grocery stores. But um, and now we have a new casting. One of the very first O seventeen new castings. We have the nice fifty nine Chevy station wagon with a removable canoe rack raft on top. Check that out. So if you don't like it, you just always pop it off and just leave the car be. But that doesn't concern me because I'm just going to keep it in the package. So that's pretty neat. It's red. It's got the silver uh, trim, silver side trim, silver door handles. It's got uh, it's got chrome hubs, dish hubs with uh, black rings. It's, well, it's not detailed, but it's, you know, there's no detail on the tail lights or on the headlights, but, but it's still nice. It's got a, uh, a smoked, it's got smoke windows, but um, as nice as this is, it's a casting that we've already seen from the Hot Wheel lineup. These Hot Wheels made a 59 Chevy delivery, but instead it was a two door. But it's virtually the same thing, just with two extra doors. So, I mean, they could have made a lesser known station wagon, kind of like what Auto World did when they made the 64 Ford Country Squire station wagon and the 69 Chevy Kingswood Estate. You know, wagons that we're not too familiar with. Hell, maybe even a, a, a 70s or 80s Ford LTD station wagon. That would be really nice because we don't see those in 164 oh scale. <laughs> so, uh, but then last but not least, Bada bing, bada boom. We got the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. Ha <laughs> ha. 
a lot of collectors, including me, are very excited to have this casting back. Because it's been seven years since we last saw this casting. Yep, it was first released in 2009 in the same exact livery, in metallic silver and its signature silver color. And then a few batches later, it was released in a black. Because the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren in real life only came in two colors, silver and black. And in order for, Matt, for Mattel to make it, they only have to make those two colors because there was a rumor that there was going to be a blue Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren released in a five-pack for the next year. I think for 2010 or maybe even 2009, that same year but it never went through. This is during the time when Mercedes-Benz lost their licensing permission from Mattel. So that's why you never saw any Mercedes castings from both Matchbox and Hot Wheels. But just recently, as in this year, Mattel got their licensing permission back from Mercedes-Benz, and so Matchbox is, has the new that new six by the six by six truck coming out, the G63 AMG or something like that. I'm not sure what it's called. And then they brought back the SLR McLaren, which is really nice. And I'm glad to have two. So, uh, yep, he grabbed the only two that they had. And I also have two of the Chevy wagon. And um, it's just really nice to see this casting back because if you were to look up the first edition of this, they're going to be a lot. The cost is going to be very expensive. So it's it's great that Matchbox brought the casting back so that way you can find it at the right time at Walmart for 97 cents. So, and I just love the casting itself. It looks like an airplane. It's just really well detailed. They did a great job with the license plate, the tail lights, the bottom lights, the bottom panel there. Again, and of course, the, the headlights, the, the Mercedes emblem on the very tip. You know, it looks exactly like the actual car. So now we have that. So here is the highlight of the batch. So we got the mini. the station wagon, the panel delivery van, and the Mercedes. Four awesome, nice castings that are making an appearance in the very first batch. So that's a good way to start the new year. So that's it. Check your Walmarts. Take care and happy collecting.